And today, I'm announcing the United States is prepared to commit more than $1 billion in humanitarian assistance to help get relief to millions of Ukrainians affected by the war in Ukraine. Many Ukrainian refugees will, uh, will wish to stay in Europe, closer to their homes. But we've also will welcome 100,000 Ukrainians to the United States with a focus on reuniting families. China understands that uh, its economic future is much more closely tied to the West uh, than it is to Russia. And so uh, I, uh, I, I'm hopeful that he, uh, he does not get engaged. We, yes, we did re re so talk about food shortages. And, uh, and it's going to be real. The, the price of these sanctions is not just imposed upon Russia. It's imposed upon an awful lot of countries as well, including European countries and our country as well. My answer is yes. That depends on the G20. Um, I, that, that was raised today. And uh, I raised the possibility, if that can't be done, if Indonesia and others do not agree, then we should, in my view, ask to have both uh, um, Ukraine uh, be able to attend the meetings as well as, uh, um, well, ba ba basically Ukraine being able to attend the G20 meeting and observe.